हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन द चैप्टर क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट्स एंड पीरियोडिसिटी ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टीज दैट इज द इलेक्ट्रो नेगेटिविटी ऑफ द एलिमेंट एंड इट्स स्टेट इन द पीरियोडिक टेबल माय सेल्फ के के मुखर्जी वेलकम टू दिस शो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस व्हाट इज बेसिकली इलेक्ट्रो नेगेटिविटी इज Electronegativity of the element is basically the measurement of the capacity of the atoms of the element to attract the shared pair of electron into itself in the compound. So we can write the definition of electronegativity like this way. it is basically the measurement of the capability measurement of the capability of the atoms of the element of the element to attract the shear pair of electron to attract the shear pair of shear pair of electrons into itself in the compound so electronegativity is basically measured in the compounds when the elements has formed any compounds the electronegativity is not fixed for a element that can be understood from this example suppose you have the three hydrocarbons acetylene ch2 c2h4 and c2h6 what do you expect that electronegativity of these carbon in c2h2 and this carbon in c2h4 and this carbon will be same it will not going to be same the electronegativity in the carbon of the c2h2 is the highest among this three compound followed by the carbon compound in the c2h4 and c2h6 here the electronegativity is lowest among this three so why it is so this is because of the fact this carbon atom in the c2h2 has sp hybridized this carbon atom is sp2 hybridized and this carbon atom is sp3 hybridized and due to the difference in the hybridization you can see the same element has the different type of electronegativity so electronegativity is not fixed one question i am giving suppose two compound is given C3I and C3I. Does the electronegativity of this carbon and this carbon will same? It will not same because here you can see due to this higher electronegativity of the fluid, the carbon there is a higher amount of positive charge generated developed. in this carbon atom of the ch3r as compared to this carbon atom so this carbon atom is much more electronegative than this carbon atom so in the compound itself the electronegativity of the same element will differ 
another example i can say that will give you the more insight into these things that how the electronegativity is influenced by different factors suppose pv plus 2 and pv plus 4 this electronegativity of pv plus 2 is 1.87 while whereas it is 2.33 so you can see when we increase the oxidation number of the element then again the electronegativity has going to increases So, electronegativity cannot be measured very easily. That is very, very much clear from this discussion. And question is, is there any method that we can able to measure this electronegativity of the element? The question to this, answer to this question is, it is there. There is basically three methods that we can see they are basically scales, three scales are available to measure the electronegativity. Number one, that is Mullican Jaffe scale. Mullican Jaffe scale number one. Number two, Pauling, Pauling scale. And number three, all right, Rasho scale. All right, Rasho scale. There is a three scale available as of day. And this scale we can see that is base is totally different. In the Mulligan Jambi scale, you have to use that we are, we are going in. Now, let us have some discussion on the Mulligan Jambi scale. Number one, that is Mulligan scale. Mulligan scale, you can see it is used the, the electronegativity is defined by a symbol that is called chi. Here, electronegativity of element in the Mulligan scale, it is Ea plus Ie by 2. When Ea and Ie is basically in electron volt. Ea is electron affinity means electron gain enthalpy and Ie is ionization enthalpy. It is the Mulligan scale. When Ea and Ie is in electron volt. Second that is the Pauling scale. In the Pauling scale, what they are used? They are used the bond energy. And here you can get the difference in the electronegativity, and that is given by 0 0.101 this delta. And this is for when the bond energy in kilojoule per mole. When bond energy in kilojoule per mole, and here it is another. kilojoule per mole then this will be the derivation here it is the difference is electronegativity and this gain value is basically the difference in the bond energy so this will be the Del, that is basically excess of the bond energy and it is also called as resonance energy and from this we can able to calculate the negativity electronegativity by knowing the negativity of electronegativity of the hydrogen and it is taken to 2.1 and in this scale you will find the maximum electronegativity in case of fluid and alpha Alright root loss to scale number three scale all right 
Rockstro. On red Rockstro scale, you can find the electronegativity is derived by on this formula, it is based. on the covalent radius here covalent radius r in amstrad and this is effective nuclear charge and these are all the constant so you can see how we are able to measure the electronegativity now we understand the trend in the period how electronegativity across the period and down the groove is been traveling that we are going to understand taking the scale, Pauling scale in the sub elements in the in the periodic uh, second period or the third period and also you will see the group also where they are changing. Okay. What is the trend across the period? We, we can easily find out from this data. This is the electronegativity of the PO2 elements. You can see the lithium having the electronegativity on 1 that is measured on the Pauling scale. Then beryllium 1.5, boron 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5, and 4. So you can see the electronegativity across the PO is increasing. And same thing you can see. For the PO3 element, the magnesium having the 0.9, then sodium having the 0.9, then magnesium 1.2, aluminum 1.5, and it is chlorine having the 3. So this is the case when we goes on increasing from the electronegativity goes on increasing as we go across the period from left hand side to right hand side <clears throat> there are a lot of questions uh, you can you can have in the exams that we will discuss one question the first question that you can see the element having the different value of the electronegativity option is given among this one element will have the different electronegativity than the other so you can see the hydrogen is having the electronegativity of 2.1, tellurium also this and phosphorus also this. But the sulfur is having the electronegativity 2.5. So this is 2.1 and this is 2.1 and this is 2.1. So this answer to this question, answer to this question is the sulfur because it is having the different electronegativity. So this type of question will come. To understand the periodic trend down the group, here group number one elements has been given with its electronegativity, and you can find the lithium having the highest electronegativity, followed by sodium, then potassium, then rubidium, then cesium. Cesium and francium having the lowest electronegativity among all the elements. This point is given. In case of group number 17, you can see fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, and astatine. In this case, fluorine will be the highest top of the list, then the chlorine having the 3 will be 2.8, 2.5, and 2.2. So you can easily understand as we go down the group, the electronegativity is going to be decreases. As we go across the period, electronegativity is going to increase. So, what is the reason behind it? Reason is there is a two reasons which affect the electronegativity. The two reasons are number one reason that is nuclear charge and number two reason that is the atomic radius. The two things going to play the part in determining the electronegativity of the element. As we go across the period, the atomic radius goes on decreasing, decreasing and decreasing and electronegativity goes on increasing and increasing. So there is an inverse relation. And the same thing happens here. When you go down the groove, when you go 
down the groove, we will find the ellipse diameter is increasing, increasing and increasing and the electronic activity goes on decreasing and the y diameter is increasing and that is due to the nuclear charge okay so this is the reasons and uh, this type of trend we have observed in the electronic activity now we are going to uh, discuss some questions which may come in the examination electronic activity order of the following phosphorus is greater than silicon Carbon is greater than nitrogen, bromine is greater than chlorine, and scrunchium is greater than calcium. So, both the things we have to think uh, what is happening when we go down the groove and what is happening when we go left hand side of the pure to the right hand side of the pure. Here you can see the scrunchium and calcium. This is correct. The scrunchium has a higher electronegativity? No, because they are in the same groove, but scrunchium is the down, that is lower of the calcium. So, naturally, scrunchium will have the lower electronegativity than the calcium. So, this is not the correct relation. Here, also, see the same thing bromine is down the chlorine in the uh, groove, group number 17. So, it is also not correct. Carbon and nitrogen, if we go across, we will find the nitrogen is after the carbon. So, it is also not the true fact. So, this will be a true and we know phosphorus will come after the silicon uh, in the period number 6, in the period number 3rd, the phosphorus come after the silicon and that is why this electronegativity is higher than the silicon and that is the right answer this type of question will come then you have to uh, keep in mind this relationship that as we go across the period the electronegativity is goes on increasing as you go down the group electronegativity is goes on decreasing at the period it is increasing at the group it is decreasing okay electronegativity of the following elements increase in the order there are several options has been given and you have to say which is the order. Increasing, increase in order, but if the lowest you have to put there, then you have to go along with the next, next and next. In this case, you can see one thing, carbon and nitrogen, they are in the same group, same period, and, sulfur, and silicon and phosphorus in the same period. Again, you can see phosphorus and nitrogen in the same group and carbon and silicon in the same group, but they are lower. These are lower. So, the electronegativity, lowest electronegativity will be the silicon, followed by your phosphorus, then carbon, and then nitrogen. So, C will be the correct answer of among these options okay this way you can able to understand this way you have to give the answer all these questions and it will definitely one or two questions definitely going to come in your exams competitive exams or board exams so that is all for today's video uh, if you like this video you can share to your friends and in the next video we will discuss different things in this same chapter uh, till then uh, all the best and be best